Yes. Not finding one. Now they did not find any cave. So what did they decide? They decided to build one cave. First they had a tree house. Yes. A house on the tree. Then they decided to build. So they did not find a cave. So they saw a rock and they decided to dig it and build a house inside that particular rock. Okay. Now on the smooth face of the rock, father marked the dimensions. Dimensions means all the doors, the windows or the opening of the cave from where they could enter for an opening and they picked away at the hard surface because rocks are very hard. With their axes, chisels and hammers and shovels. Yes, now these are all digging tools. Yes, axes, chisels, hammers and shovels. Over the next several days, the family cut windows in the rocks to allow for cross currents. Yes, they cut windows. Yes, to allow for cross currents of air and for sunlight to enter the cave. When they had finished, they had four rooms complete with a fireplace. Now, you know, they need a fireplace because it's very, very cold there. They now had a new winter home. Because of low light, the cave house they had built felt oppressive. Now, inside the cave, it's very, very dark. Yes, and it was so gloomy that they felt it very oppressive. Oppressive means unpleasant. Would you like to live in a dark house? No, you'll feel very unpleasant. To remedy this, to correct this, to try to solve this problem, Father and Jack rigged up a new light. What did they do? They rigged, they put up a new light. They found a bamboo pole that would reach from the floor to the ceiling. Then after securing it, after fixing it, what means securing it? Fixing it. Jack climbed to the top of the pole and hung a large oil lamp that they had rescued from the ship. Yes, they had brought from the ship a big oil lamp. So that they put up and inside the cave they could have light. One day, they found that one of the family's huts had been completely destroyed. See children, they had built many, many types of houses. One first was they were staying in the open. So mother suggested a house on the tree. Then they built a house on the cave, in a cave and in a rock that is like a cave house. Now, huts also were there to store their things or to keep some things inside. So, one of the huts was broken and it was destroyed. And the cultivated fields also. Now, I told you, you know, they were growing their own crops. So, whatever fields were there, around it had been trampled and ruined. Trampled means stamped. Yes? Kisine pura usko kuchal dala tha. Trampled. And ruined. Ruin means fully destroyed. There were huge footmarks everywhere. So footmarks, big big footprints. So you understand students what had caused it. Father saw massive damage. And the father saw this was a great damage, great destruction. To trees as well as many huge footprints. Which he identified as belonging to an elephant herd. Now, you know, elephants travel in big herds. Herds means in a group. So, and whatever comes in their way, they keep, keep on tra uh, trampling it. They keep on destroying. Yes, yeah, they will even uproot trees, stamp everything that comes in their way. The next morning, the family began to design a new defense to discourage all wild animals from entering their cultivated fields. Now, whatever farms they had, so the family decided to build a fence and that also a strong fence so that animals cannot enter it. They also finalized their ideas about a new residence. Now, they wanted to build a new house, okay, a new house, which would be better than 
both this. They rather than building a house on stilts. Now what is stilts on bamboos? Which the elephants could knock down. If they build house on bamboos, the elephants could easily drop it down. They could, would use four strong trees growing in a square near one another as the foundation. Now they decided to use four trees. Okay. And these four trees would be like the foundation. The trees were of equal size approximately 12 feet apart. They were in a square approximately 12 feet. Thus they built another safe home. And so the family built another safe home. 10 years passed. Now see how the family was surviving. Yes. First they were staying in the open. Okay. Naturally foxes or other animals could harm them. Then mother suggested a tree house. So they built a tree house with whatever material they got. And the father made the sons also work. The sons also helped. That showed they were cooperative with each other. Yes. They helped each other. Yes. They built a house. A tree house. But later on it could. Uh, winter was coming close. So naturally they wanted a more protective house. And that is why they decided a cave. Suggested a cave. But there were no caves. They could find no caves where they could go and stay. So what did they do? They saw a rock which was close by. Big rock. Okay. So they decided to build a house in it. And whatever tools they had. Chisels, hammers. Yes, shovels, axes. They started digging and digging. First father, of course, drew some dimensions, some things from where they could enter. And they did all working together, working so hard, day and night. And at last they built a cave. But later on, they wanted a no more better place, you know, a more better place where they could, they could stay nicely, comfortably. As I told you, this house was quite oppressive oppressive means unpleasant because no light was entering quite dark gloomy so they decided to build a new house new residence what means a new residence new house okay and they would stay there they chose four trees yes in the next lecture i'll show you all how the trees they built 10 years passed and the young boys were now young men the young boys were now young men yes they were for small children now so many 10 years they became teenagers young men and their parents were very proud now children why were the parents proud because the boys were very very helpful self-dependent listened to their parents obeyed their parents and that is why their parents were very proud of them they called the island New Switzerland. They were from Switzerland. Now this island, they started calling it New Switzerland. Many adventures occurred over the years and many, many adventures because naturally they were staying without any help, only the family in the open island. So lot of adventures, building new house, facing uh, difficulties like how the elephants came and trampled their crops and so much of troubles one after the another adventures yes life was not easy but still for all they worked together they survived together and they lived together and they made the young boys made their parents very proud students we will continue in the next lecture because this lesson is quite a big lesson. Okay. Okay. So see you all. Bye for now.